Hello everyone, I'm Moira and welcome to the Daisy Sampler. The Daisy Sampler is an overlay mosaic crochet pattern and it comes in three different colour versions. We have muted, bright and tapestry. All three versions use exactly the same pattern. However, the way the colour is applied in each pattern varies and that is the purpose of this video, to let you understand how the different patterns vary from each other so that you can actually choose which pattern you want to use and how within that pattern you want to actually add your colour to that pattern because I'm looking for lots of different colour versions. So let's go and have a little bit more of an examine of each of these three patterns in more detail so that you can understand how the colour is applied to each one and which one you wish to use. So let's look in more detail at our bright version and the way the colours are applied. So we've got our eight colours. You can see that the body section, section one, the centre, is made up of two colours. Our base colour A and our very first colour B, which is our pink. Looking again now at section two, our three motives, we've got four colours in there. However, before we actually start to look at the way the colours are applied, I actually want to speak about a motive. Each motive is made up of seven rounds. Three of those rounds are the base colour, and in bright, two of those rounds are one colour, and two of the rounds are another colour, which is where we're getting our split colour section coming in. So you can see now, if we look at section two, we've got motive one is made up of red and orange, and motive three is made up of orange and red. It actually mirrors each other. Motive two is made up of a yellow, a bright yellow and a bright grey. So we've got two colours making up each motive. Now, all of the motives, apart from two of them, see one here, and if I move this one, one here, are actually worked in two different colours. You can choose to work all your repeating motives in one colour, like I've worked in this one and this one, or you can actually choose to make them all two colours. All the other motives are worked in two colours. And the colours in bright are pretty random. There's not really any, apart from those first colours there section, which kind of go with the rainbow, the rest really are just randomised. So you could, again, add four colours and just use the splits, or it really is, there, there are so many different variations. But the thing that distinguishes bright from the other two is that the colours in these ones are split. The other two don't have split colours at all. The way the colours are treated are very different in there. So bright really is splitting the colours. That's what this version is about, is taking each motive and applying two colours to it. So if you want split colours in your blanket, this is the version you want to use bright. You can go with what I've done, with the eight colours plus the main background colour, or you can use less, you could even use more. There are 12 different motives altogether. You could actually put a different colour in each motive, which would give you the base colour and then 12 different colours if you wanted. And if you wanted, you could even have your centre of different colours. So that would be 13 colours. So it could be a real stash buster, this one, if you want to. And this would be the version you would use. Because the other two versions do not use the split colour way at all. So let's go and have a look now at the muted version. Now we've got the muted version. Now the muted version only uses five colours. One is the base colour, the cream, and four other colours. And three of those colours are shades of grey, which is why it's given us this quite monochrome sort of look. And I wanted something to pop out all those shades of grey to make it just a little bit less boring. So I added my bright yellow, which is my pop, pop colour. So looking a little bit more closely at the way the colours are made up, and the colours are applied here. Body is the same as before, we only use two colours, so we've used colour A, background colour, and colour B, our grey colour here. And then the 
slip stitch is applied with a very light grey colour and then section one, sorry section two, body section one, section two uses one colour, two colours, it's actually got another colour in there, three colours and our body section. So it's using A, the dark grey, the pearl grey and the mid grey. Pearl grey quite hard to see because it's so close in colour, is actually applied as what I call a thread colour. So instead of actually splitting this into two colours with two rows of one colour and two rows of a separate colour, I've used two rows, then my double crochet row, which has got no drop trebles in it, is just applied in one colour. And it gives you this thread colour. You can see it more in the yellow actually, the thread running through. And it has this thread colour applied. So all the repeating motifs in the muted are in the same dark grey colour. And however, the other motifs have all got a thread colour running through them, apart from this motif here, this motif down here. And you can see that. I've actually split this motif just because I really wanted a little bit more yellow in my blanket for no other reason. I was happy with the thread colours but I felt it just needed something a little bit more interesting than thread colours so I just applied a little bit of yellow to it and so this is the only motif here that is split into two colours. You can do that as well or you could split any of the motifs into two colours. Really it's, it's completely up to you how you do it but then the other motifs in section five and six have just got this very light pearl grey as the thread colour running through it. So muted, four colours alongside our base colour and our sections are split into, they are using two colours but it's got a thread colour running in instead of the actual two sections apart from one little motive that I just put in as a little bit of interest. All the repeated motifs are in the same colour. So that's how we apply colour to our muted daisy sampler. So now let's go and have a look at our tapestry daisy sampler. And now looking at our tapestry section, we can see immediately there's something different in this. And it's the centre is made up of more than one colour. It's got in the centre a second colour. And that is where the tapestry name comes from, because this is worked in tapestry mosaic. Now you can actually put tapestry mosaic into both the bright one and the muted versions. However, I would only apply the tapestry mosaic if you're an experienced crochetier. There is a video tutorial, even if you've not done this before, explaining how to do it. So there's a separate tutorial for tapestry. You can go off, then you've, if you've chosen to do bright and muted, do the tapestry section and then come back. Looking at the rest of the blanket, how the colours are applied in this, I actually took each section and worked with three colours alongside my base colour. So you can see in section two I have that mid grey colour, I've got my wheat and my blue. You can see my blue is my thread colour here. My mid grey is actually worked as the repeat and that's worked as just one colour. Now they are repeated, that colour row is repeated down here and over here you can see in section four. So section one or section two and section four are repeated. Now if we look again here at section three we have what have we got here we have our pearl grey again blue if you notice is a thread colour that's the constant colour working its way through here I've used blue as a thread in every single motif so blue is our thread motif alongside our grey and then for a repeating colour here, I've gone back to the colour that I used in the centre. So that's the three colours alongside our base colour that is used for section 
three. Section five is a repeat of these colours as well. If we look, we've got the same colour we go in there for those two and there. So section five is a repeat of section three. And section six, I've gone back to the middle section of section two, which uses these. So the middle section, here we go, middle section of section two is what I've used for section six. And then for the edge, I use the same color way as in the center. So the repeat really here is my thread color. That's the way that it's changed. Again, all my repeating motifs are made up of one color. I haven't split the colors and haven't split any colors in here. There's no section with a split color. You've now seen all three versions of the Daisy Sampler. It's up to you to choose which one you want to do and how you're going to apply your colours. I do hope I haven't actually confused you giving the three versions. It certainly wasn't my intention to do that. It's just that over the last few months, this design is just really growing. However, I've had great fun designing and making all three samplers and I'm really looking forward to seeing your versions because I've really loved seeing my tester versions as you will do shortly too. If you haven't actually worked any mosaic crochet designs before and don't really know how to use the charts please do go and watch my how to read a mosaic crochet chart over at YouTube because this will make you a lot more comfortable with reading the charts before you actually start the daisy sampler. It's now time for you to go and choose some colours, so have fun doing that and happy crocheting!